How long is one banana? The answer to that question is about 17.78 centimeters or 7 inches. But how long is a frog in bananas? Well, it depends on which species is being considered. The smoky jungle frog can become about 18 centimeters or 7.09 inches long, which would be around one banana in size. A large mountain chicken frog can reach up to 22 centimeters or 8.66 inches in length. This is about 1.2 bananas in size. A female Blythe's river frog is 26 centimeters or 10.24 inches long. That's 1.4 bananas in size. But let's finally size the largest frog on the planet in bananas. The Gollia frog can grow up to 32 centimeters or 12.60 inches. This is a whopping length of 1.8 bananas in size. That's nothing against a blue whale, which maximum length is 29.9 meters or 98.10 feet or 167.908 bananas in size, but it's still remarkable. This video is about the Gollier frog, an absolute unit of a frog. The Gollier frog is also known as the Gollier bullfrog or the giant slippery frog and is the largest living frog species and they live in Africa, more precisely in a small habitat in Cameroon and Equatorial Guinea, near fast-flowing rivers like the Benito River, with sandy bottoms. These rivers are usually clear and highly oxygenated. The river systems in which these frogs live are often found in dense, extremely humid areas with relatively high temperatures. This frog is nocturnal because they are generally staying in the rivers during the day and often emerge on land during the night. Right now, this specific frog species is endangered as reported by the IUCN Red List. IUCN stands for International Union for Conservation of Nature. Its population size decreases because of habitat destruction, collection for food and pet trade. Both sexes of the Gollier frog are similar in terms of size, weight and looks. The Gollier frog can weigh up to 3.75 kilograms or 7.2 pounds or 28.660 bananas. As I said earlier, they can grow up to 32 centimeters, 12.6 inches, or 1.8 bananas long. Their eyes can be nearly 2.5 centimeters, or 1 inch in diameter, and the conspicuous tympanum, which is the external hearing structure, has a diameter of around 0.5 centimeters, or 0.2 inches. The Gollier frog eggs are, despite of the large size of grown-up Gollier frogs, about the same as other eggs from other frog species. There is a lateral fold that extends from the eye to the posterior portion of the tympanum. Their toes are fully webbed with large interdigital membranes extending down to the toe tips. The second toe is the longest. The skin on the back and on top of the limbs has a granular texture. The coloration of the back is sienna green, while the abdomen and ventral part of the limbs are more orange and yellowish. They mostly live solitary. Gollier frogs do here extremely well to save themselves from predators, which are, by the way, mainly the most overpowered ones in nature. I am talking about humans. These large frogs are not only special because of their weight and size, but also due to their missing of a vocal sac. The vocal sac is a flexible membrane of skin possessed by most male frogs. The purpose of this is to use it as an amplification of the mating advertisement call. If a frog has a vocal sac, the sex can be easily determined. Also, these types of frogs with a vocal sac can be heard from over 1 km or 0.62 miles away. While species without this feature, Gollier frogs belong to these types of species, may only be heard within a radius of a few meters. These frogs also lack nipples. Water is vital for the reproduction. The egg masses consist of several hundred to a few thousand eggs and they are often attached to aquatic vegetation. The larval development takes between 85 and 95 days. The three main nest types that have been detected were all semicircular in shape and located in or near a river. In the first they clear a section in a river pool. In the second they expand an already existing pool, then they get off from the river. In the third, they dig a pool which is approximately 1 meter wide and 10 centimeters deep, sometimes moving quite large stones in the process that can weigh up to 1.8 kilograms or about 4 pounds. 
This may also explain the goalie of frog's large size, as larger frogs may be more successful at moving heavier objects when constructing their nests. It has been found that adults guard their nests at night. Adult goliath frogs are carnivores, so the main prey are insects, fish, mollusks, crustaceans, and amphibians. Goliath tadpoles are herbivorous and feed on a single aquatic plant, which is the decryer vermingi. This is only found near waterfalls and rapids, which may help explain the restricted range. The goliath frog can live up to 15 years in the wild, but in captivity it can be 21 years. The average lifespan is decreased by the prey, that are snakes, Nile crocodiles, Nile monitors, and of course, the Homo sapien. As I said earlier, the primary threat to the Goliath frog is hunting. Because of its large size, it is considered a food source in its native range. The IUCN stressed the need for conservation measures, and that is with cooperation with local communities to make sure the hunting is at sustainable levels. The Goliath frog is not only a food source for some people, but a pet for the home. They have been extensively exported to zoos and pet trade. Although this frog may live up to 21 years in captivity, it is more shy and nervous there. One confirmation is that they have not been bred in captivity. And due to this endangerment, the Equatorial Guinean government has declared that no more than 300 Goliath frogs may be exported per year for the pet trade, but few now seem to be exported from this country. I hope you liked this video about the Goliath frog. I would appreciate it if you leave a comment and like for this video. You can help this channel out if you subscribe to me or share this video and our channel with other learnholics like me. Have a nice day and keep curious about learning something new. See you in the next video.